Hey there, aspiring guitarists. Today in Guitar Talk, I'm going to talk about the case for and against cases and the reality of do I really need a case or maybe I already have a case that'll work. But shouldn't I get a case? Shouldn't all guitar manufacturers include a case? Well, you know, that's that depends on a lot of things. Um, I'm in a lot of pain right now, my lower back. Um, and, you know, I, I've, I've worked some really physical jobs in my life. I know how to live. I know how to lose, use my legs. I know how to distribute my weight. Uh, I know how to try to keep my back from getting messed up and throwing out my back at the age of 64. Movement, uh, not being too fat, things like that help greatly. Uh, but that's not what this is about. The simple fact of the matter is I threw my back out yesterday uh, on a trip to Guitar Center where I uh, sold them some of my higher-end guitars I no longer wanted. Uh, and it was a pleasant experience. I still hold that uh, Brandon Avery and the crew at the Birmingham store are doing a great job. Uh, I've talked about what you can expect when you trade something in, about, uh, you know, getting a fair price, knowing that uh, you're not going to get retail on something unless it's a very special, high-end, very high-end, very wanted, all those different things. So I'm not trying to go there. I, I'm explaining to you why I'm talking about cases. Uh, I threw my back out um, having several cases in the back uh, of the SUV and lifting them all up and snatching, trying to carry two at once. And like uh, the Gibson L00 hard shell case is just heavy. I mean, it's heavy. My Martin 0028 case is not heavy, even though it's a hard shell ABS case, but it's awkward. And so I did the things like carrying two cases at once, taking the little smaller gig bags and two on one arm and then a heavy one on another, trying to save a trip in and out the door. My own stupidity. At any rate, um, I don't try to take a lot of NSAIDs, but you know, I've had a couple of uh, high strength Tylenols and I've got salon paws all over my lower back. So let's talk about the case for and against cases. So um, this, and I'm, I'm, you know, I may stop this um, Amazon links that I'm doing unless Amazon is just the only place I can do it. Because to put an Amazon link in that I get almost nothing in commission, I'm not knocking it. Some people make a lot of money doing that. I don't even think I've made five bucks yet over you know half a year and then I have to stop go get the link so I may stop that all together and just put in a normal Amazon link this is a Luna tooled leather case it's their dreadnought case um, it comes in different prices I've seen it on a stupid deal of the day very low I've seen it uh, as high as $179, as low as $129. Uh, yeah, you can find uh, dreadnought cases that are less than that. But one of the reasons that I like this case is, see all my acoustics up there, and that's not even all of them, as you know, but that's some of my bigger ones. Um, every single guitar up there, from the big Luna dreadnought on the right, to the Breed Love, to the J45, to the Hummingbird, to the Martin Road series, will all fit in this loon case. Now, some of them fit just the, like the Hummingbird. It just does fit, and I mean, it's tight. Um, but then like um, the Road series Martin, although I have, it came with a, a very nice gig bag. I'm just explaining to you that because it's smaller and you can see, it's one right 
next to the black ebony hummingbird, um, you can see that uh, it's a little bit smaller and you could very easily, it fits in the case perfectly. Um, I'm not gonna stand up because it just hurts. But let me open this case up. Now it's, it's a tulip case, it's beautiful. You know, it looks good, it's got plenty of looks, it's very sturdy. Um, naturally it comes with a key, which I really don't put a lot into that. I always felt like if somebody was gonna steal your guitar, they're gonna steal the case and all, but that's a whole nother. But as you can see, it, it's, it's lined. You know, oh, that hurts. But um, but anyway, even if I put one of the guitars, all of it, even the big hummingbird will fit into this. Got a, a deep belt. You can find the specs at Sweetwater, at Luna Guitars, uh, for the belt sizes and things like that. And that's important. You know, I mean, you need to learn what an upper belt, a lower belt, the waist size, if it's going to fit. But I'm telling you, all those different acoustics will fit in it. And if I had one that was moving just a tiny bit, I would merely take some guitar polishing cloths uh, or microfiber cloths and put in there. I've seen people put a towel in there. I've seen people do all kinds of things. Uh, and, and you may be going, well, why would I do that? Well, let, let's talk about that. Every acoustic I have that's a bigger uh, size acoustic will fit in here with the exception of my Gibson uh, SJ200-1957 Custom Shop, which has its own case. Because it's so darn big, it has to have its own case. So, that J45 there, I didn't buy the case. Um, but it fits in here perfectly. Now, if you're somebody that only has one guitar, well, yeah, you need a case, especially if you're going to go somewhere with your guitar. But if you're somebody with several guitars, there's always this big debate about why don't guitars come with a case? Well, I think they should come with a case, too, but maybe, maybe not. And let's talk about why maybe, maybe not. How about something like, well, I don't want the expense of the guitar to go up because I don't need a case. I have a case. I don't generally carry two guitars at the same time. This case doesn't have any branding on it all. Now, that bothers some people. It doesn't bother me. Um, it wouldn't bother me one bit to have an Epiphone branded case and pull a breed love out of it because I realize that would drive some people absolutely crazy. No judgment. I don't care. Um, but this Luna leather tooled case has no branding on it. And it, it's a very protective case. I think it's well priced. Uh, I have padded gig bags that I bought on stupid deals of the day that when I just need to get a guitar somewhere real quick, sometimes I'll throw it in there when I know I'm just going to lay it on the back seat of the truck or something like that. But my point is... I, I don't generally carry multiple guitars at the same time. Now, the guitars I carried all to Guitar Center to sell yesterday all had a nice case. They were nicer guitars, so naturally the case get with it. And that's part of how I threw my back out. You also got to come to the reality of how heavy is a case. Uh, some people prefer the way Taylor has gone to the padded gig bags and what they call the aero bag or aero case that is real heavy duty. You'll see Philip McKnight hold up a gig bag and see if it falls, you know, and things like that. So you may not need a case. What I would like to see, and this is just what I'd like to see, we're all different. I'd like to see things like maybe, um, you know, Sweetwater, when you buy a guitar now has up underneath the, the listing before you start getting into the descriptions and specs, they'll show certified fitted cases that they have actually uh, shown that the, the guitar will fit in the case. Sometimes it is indeed a branded case from the manufacturer. Sometimes it's a Gator or another or a Roadrunner or another, you know, very well made case. Um, 
But what I'd like to see is like if I, I wish Fender and Gibson and all of now Taylor, you pretty much get a nice gig bag or a case of everything, and kudos to them because I still think they've kept the cost of the guitar relatively within the boundaries of a higher end guitar. Um, but what I would like to see is maybe Fender. Uh, a, a lot of fingers get pointed at Fender for not offering case, but I understand not. They're trying to keep the cost down. They don't want the added cost of a case. So why couldn't you do something like if you buy a case with this purchase, Fender will discount the case in half. Something along that kind of line. Something to where, you know, we're going to give you the option to get it with a case, but we realize you may not want it with a case. You may would prefer the, the $45 in savings we could pass on, you know, uh, by not offering a case with it because you've already got a case. Now, let me scroll over here. That hurts. My hard shell ABS cases are not in this guitar studio. Uh, they're out in my garage. They're in a, a string joy case rack. Um, and I don't mind them being in the garage because it's fairly climate controlled. It's still a garage. It, there's, it's more subject to weather than the rest of the home. Uh, but there's no guitars in them. It's just cases. Now, there's in this little half closet here, there's no guitars in them either. But those are padded gig bags. Those are mostly my tailors. You know, and then there's an Epiphone and a Yamaha and a Cordova, but it's mostly where my tailors are. And um, so it, cases can become a, a pain to store. Now, you see, I've got some up top on the rack as well. And I mean, but it was getting to where cases were becoming a bigger storage problem than the guitars. I can hang guitars on the wall, on the hangers, put them in Roadrunner cases, you know, like um, some of my electrics back here. Um, and, and, you know, and I've got them on the wall. I've got them in places, but they can be, for the most part, put out of the way. Now, there are unique storage things you can do with cases. I've seen people put them up in an attic. You know, I've seen people buy giant tra clear trash bags that will go in a big 90, 100 gallon trash tote and wrap the case up in it and put it out in a storage shed. There's all kinds of things you can do, but it does beg the question and the discussion of do you really need a case? Are you going to carry more than one guitar at a time? Some people carry a guitar and a backup guitar so that a, a gigging musician he's going to need protection and there's nothing worse you know th th these skinny little thin gig bags yeah I, th th I'm, I'm gonna leave that up to you you you're you know what environment the guitar is going to be transported in um i still like a hard shell case or an aero type really good durable um, like some of the Taylor, uh, um, they're called gig bags, uh, but I, I think they're arrow cases. They're they're a softer, hard case. I mean, you know, I guess we could get into all kind of technology as to what they're called. But think about that. Some of these guitars, when you buy them online, or even if you go into a guitar center, um, to buy don't come with a case. But every guitar center I've seen sells a cheap gig bag that you can buy to get it home. And you know, you may be thinking, well, they ought to do that. Well, they can only do what the manufacturer does. I, I think it's great the guitar center sells a cheap gig bag that at least if you slam on the brakes and it's in the back seat, you know, you're not gonna damage it hopefully not too bad, you can get it home. Um, I bought a couple of loose padded gig bags just for that purpose. When I go to Guitar Center, um, although I try not to buy a guitar without planning, 
but I always had a gig bag up under the seat in the pickup. One of my fold up padded gig bags I've usually purchased for under 50 bucks just in case I have to get a guitar home. So that's the case for cases and the case against cases. I love this Luna tooled hard shell case. It, it's, it's beautiful, it's light, yet very durable and sturdy. Uh, and I told you, there's all kind of bigger guitars I can get in there, and the ones that don't fit as tight as the others, I can take up the slack with a towel, a guitar cloth, all kind of things. So just something to think about, and especially with the holiday season coming up and people wanting to buy uh, new guitars. So I hope your guitar journey is blessed, and as always, and I mean it, happy picking.